is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. Seventh chapter, text number three. Given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Recorded on October 29th, 1975, in Nairobi, Kenya. Translation. Out of many thousands among men, one may endeavor for perfection. And of those who have per achieved perfection, hardly one knows me in truth. Manishanam Sahasrishu Kasti Jadati Siddhae Jatatam Api Siddhyanam Kasti Maang Bhitti Tat So, to understand Krishna is not very easy thing. Krishna says, the Manishanam Sahasrishu out of many millions of millions of persons, one tries to become perfect. Who is going to become perfect, especially in this age? Everyone is working like cats and dogs. That's all. Whole day working for eating, sleeping, sex, and de defense. That's all. They are not monsters. <coughs> Ahara nidra bhayamaithanancha samanna metat pasubhi nara. No. Eating, I eat, dog eat. So what is the difference between eating, between the dog and me? He is eating according to his taste. I am eating also. The eating business is there in the dog also. Don't think that because you are eating, on table, chair, plates, nice preparation. It is eating. <coughs> the people are taking that because I am eating on table, chair, and nice dish and nice preparation, therefore I am civilized. The Shastra says that it may be a different types of taking the tables, but it is eating. That is eating the dog. It does not make any difference. You are not civilized. Ah, similarly, sleeping, the dog can sleep on the street without caring for anything. And we cannot sleep without a nice apartment. Ah. So, eating, sleeping, mating, simply sex intercourse. So, a dog has no shame, it can enjoy sex on the street. But we have got some restriction. But the sex is there. Similarly, defense also. Uh, boy. Boy means to take care of fearfulness. That is there in the dog and in you also. It does not make any defense because you have got discovered atomic bomb for defense. It does not mean that you are better than a dog. This is Shastra Because he has to defend himself according to his intelligence. And you are defending yourself according to your intelligence. So this business, four business, eating, sleeping, mating, and defending, these are common. Ahara nidra bhayamaitana This is common. Then what is the uh, special advantage of uh, human life? The special advantage is athāta brahma jīgyāsā, jīvaśya tattva jīgyāsā. He should be inquisitive to know the value of life, the absolute truth. That is, the dog cannot do it. That is the distinction between dog and human. The human being, in the human form of life, there should be inquiry about Brahma, Parabrahma. That is human life. So, after inquiring what is Brahma, Parabrahma, uh, Janma, Dasya, Jataha, the original source of everything, uh, 
when you uh, attain Brahma Gyan, Brahma Bhuta, that is your perfection. Not that to compete with the dog in eating, sleeping, mating, and defending. That is not serious. That is not perfection of life. Nate Vidu Sartha Gatanya Vishnu. These foolish men, animalistic, dogs and cats, two-legged animals, they do not know what is the aim of life. Nate Vidu Sartha Gatanya Vishnu. The aim of life is to understand Vishnu, the Supreme Lord. Durasaya je bahirathaman. They are trying to become happy in the bahiratha, in the external energy of God, material energy. And the so called leaders, politicians, philosophers, scientists, they are all blind. They do not know what is the aim of life. Still, they are leading the whole society. Nate vidu sartha gatin hi vishnu durasayaji bahiratthamanina andhaja thandhai rupaniyamana stepi satantra urudamni baddha. Urudamni baddha. Uru means very strong. And damni means rope. Just like if I tie you with very strong rope. It is very difficult to open it, and you are put into difficulty. Similarly, we are in this material world, urudamni baddha, tight, very tight with the laws of material nature, and we are declaring still, I am free, I am independent, I can do whatever I like. This is called imperfection. So long we are in the bodily concept of life and think ourselves that we are free to do anything, whatever we like, we are in ignorance, uh, darkness. Tomo. Tomo means darkness. The Vedic injunction is tamasīma, jyotirgam. Don't remain in darkness. This is darkness. Darkness means I am this body, and the, to fulfill the necessities of the body is the highest perfection of my life. Everyone is trying for that competition. Everyone is trying to have a skyscraper building and three Rolls Royce cars and so on, so on. They think that this is perfection. Durasaya. Durasayaji Bahirathamani. This material energy is protection. Uh, but you do not think that how many years I shall enjoy this skyscraper building. And my what is my main business? My main business is how to become perfect. Uh, there are Many animals within this skyscraper building. There are human beings, there are dogs, there are cats, there are worms, rats, so many things. Uh, so to live in this skyscraper building, that facility is there even to the worms, cats, rats, everyone. That, then what is the difference between these animals and me? The difference is how to become perfect? Siddhi, Sarup Siddhi. What I am? Am I this body? This should be the question. Athatu Brahma Jiggyas. So, uh, Krishna says here that ultimate goal is to understand me. Vetti Maam Tattva. To understand Krishna, in fact in truth, not superficially. That is equal. Vedaista sattva yaham eva vidyam. If you are a great scholar studying all kinds of literature, Vedas, then you must know Krishna. If you do not understand Krishna, simply study Vedas, 
It is useless, waste of time. Dharma shanu sthita pumsang vishakshina kathasu jat no padayet rating jadi samaye vahi kevalu. You are executing your occupational duties very nicely, honestly. That is your life. But after executing your duties very honestly and nicely, if you do not uh, awaken your dormant Krishna consciousness, then samaye vahi kevalam. You are simply wasting your time. Useless. When you understand Krishna, then it is the highest perfection. Sangsiddhim paramangataha. So nobody is interested. Therefore, Krishna says, Manasanam Sahasriji. Out of many millions of persons, one may be interested. Otherwise, all are in darkness. So what is that Siddhi? Siddhi to understand one's constitutional position. What I am? I am trying to lord it over the material nature in so many ways. Ah, is that my position? But I am failure. I am trying to lord it over the material nature as big man, as the minister or as the jamindar, as the big business magnate. And when I am failure, then I want to become God. Ah, that is another ambition. That is another ambition. So this is not self-realization. The self-realization is that I am trying to lord it over the material nature in so many ways, but it is becoming baffled. Why? Why it is becoming baffled? And with great endeavor by political movements, I become the head of the political uh, institution of the state, but I do not wish to die. Death comes yeah, and it takes away everything, my political position, my wealth, my everything, family and anything. Mittu sarva harascha hum. Who is taking that? That is Krishna. So when we realize that, that I am trying to accumulate so many things, but Krishna is taking it. Then why don't you surrender to Krishna? So that he may not take away your position. But that is intent. That is Siddhi. That is Siddhi. That I am not independent. I am trying independently, but it is not possible. I am dependent. I am eternal servant of Krishna. That is self-realization. That has been taught by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Jivel Sarupai Nitya Krishna Das. The Brahma realization, Aham Brahmasme, that is liberation from material conception of life. That I am not this matter. I am not this body. But I am spirit soul. Aham Brahmasme. That is the first step of realization, self-realization. But that is not final. The final realization is that I am eternal servant of Krishna. That is final. So long you do not come to this position, the final constitutional position, that ah, we are eternal servant of Krishna, they Knowledge is lacking. There is no perfection of knowledge. Therefore, Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, Bhunam Janmana Manti. After many, many births, Jnanavan, when one actually self-realized in awareness, fully in knowledge, then he understands Vāsudeva sarvamīti. Vāsudeva is the supreme, everything. I am simply part and parcel of Vāsudeva, eternal servant of Vāsudeva. 
Vasudeva Sarvamiti, Sa Mahatma Vasudullava. That kind of perfect person, Mahatma, is very, very rare. To understand that I am eternal servant of Krishna, my only business is to serve Krishna. That is my conception of Krishna. I am part and parcel of Krishna. Uh, this finger is part and parcel of my body. Its business is to serve the whole body. Uh, I ask the finger, come here immediately. This is the normal healthy condition of uh, the part and parcel. That's why leg is my part and parcel of the body. As soon as I ask leg, please take me there. That is normal. And if the leg cannot take me there, I have to take some stick. That means this is not a normal. It is disease condition. It has to be treated. Similarly, as soon as we find that we do not abide by the orders of Krishna, we must know that you are in ignorance and in abnormal condition. Madness. That is my duty. Krishna does not require my help. And still he says, Sarvadhanman Paritajya, Mami Kang That is my good. If I surrender to Krishna, then that is my benefit. Krishna does not require my service. He is omnipotent. Uh, but we are so rascal, we think, uh, why shall I surrender to Krishna? Uh, uh, this is imperfect. So when you come to this point that you abide by the order of Krishna and surrender to Him, that is perfection. Uh, but they do not do that. Namanga duskitana murha prapadante naradhama maya purita jnana asuri bhavamas. Why they do not surrender? No, because duskitina. Always acting sin, sinful activities. Duskitina. And Mura Raskar, he does not know his own interest. Nati Vidu Sartha Gatim Vishnu. Mura Raskar. And then Naradhama. Naradhama means lowest of the mankind. This human body was given to him by material nature to understand me, to surrender to me, but he will not do this. Therefore, lowest of the mankind. Now he is so educated. So this is nonsense. If he does not understand Krishna, what is the meaning of education? There is no education. Maya paritagyana. Why these things have asuri bhavamas? It's defying Krishna. <coughs> defying God. What is God? I am God. This is the position. This is the position always of everyone who is in this material world. And especially in this age, Kaliju. Kaliju, they are all first class fools. That is described in the Srimad Bhagavatam. Manda samanda matayo manda bhagya upadhita. Prayana alpoya ayusha kalavasmi in The Kaliju is very difficult joke. Ignorance. They fight, quarrel. Only fight, quarrel. Kali means fight. That what is called Kali Yuga. So in this age, especially uh, the inhabitants, they are manda. Manda means all bad. Nobody is good. Uh, and sumanda mata, everyone has got his conception of perfection. All bogus. Sumanda mata. Why this is manna bhagya? Because they are unfortunate. Everyone does not know what he shall eat next morning or in the evening. Everyone is in need. Uh, scarcity all over the world. Manda so manna matayo, manna bhagya, and still they are disturbed, so many. Uh, especially the, with the increase of kalijo, People will be disturbed by two things specially. What is that? A scarcity of food and taxation. 
that is stated in the Simad Bhagavatam. Dudbikha karopiriza. Karo means taxes. Uh, the people will be embarrassed for want of food at the same time every year increase of taxes. That is stated in the Bhagavatam. Dudbikha karopiriza. Say only those so much disturbed that they will give up their heart and home and go away in the forest. Dudbikha karapita. Achinna dardarvina gachanti girikananam. Dardarvina. Money, wife, children, everything they will be disgusted. Now it is impossible to maintain. Let me go away. Gachanti girikananam. So, uh, this is the college of position. So, 5,000 years ago, when Krishna spoke about Bhagavad Gita, at that time the position was Manishanam Sahasri. <coughs> so, Sahasra, now on account of college of <coughs> Manishanam, million years because it has increased. The college has increased. Not Sahasreshu, and the percentage has increased, and millions and millions. Uh, therefore, nobody is interested in this Krishna consciousness movement. There we are trying to give the highest perfection of life, but they are not interested. Mm. They want to remain like cats and dogs and suffer the consequence. Prakritakriyamanani, Gunai Karmani, Sarvasa, Ahankara Vimulani. This is like. Uh, so, Krishna consciousness movement is very difficult to understand, but by the grace of Krishna, uh, it has been made very easy. Easy. Uh, that is stated in the Srimad Bhagavatam. Kalo dosanidhe rajan asti jeko mahanguna. It was explained by Sukhdev Goswami to Parikrim Maharaj. He described the faults of the Kaliju, but he encouraged by one verse, My dear king, there is one very nice opportunity in this Kaliju. Kalav dosa nidhe, dosa nidhi, it is the ocean of faults. But there is one very nice gain in this Kaliju. What is that? Kītana deva krishna sa mukta samma param vajiri. Simply by chanting Hare Krishna mantra, one can become free from all the troubles of this job. Man, juga, kali juga, and mukta sangha, and he becomes liberated, and he goes back to home, back to God. So take it very seriously, and make your life perfect. Thank you very much. That he has to learn how to become humble. Tenadapi Sunitena Tarurabi Sayu. If you preach Krishna consciousness, so many people will chastise you. The government will not allow you to go on the public street and you will not go to visa, you will be refused to enter. So you have to tolerate all these things. That is humbleness. Sri Prabhupada, you speak about the Africa, that the truth that they do not know what to eat tomorrow. And in fact, like here, it's very hard for them to understand Krishna consciousness. So my question is, which what can we do now? Which is go and chant Hare Krishna and give them food, they're hungry. Then it will be successful. Chant Hare Krishna, let them come and dance with you and give them prasadam, they're hungry. It will be success. It's not difficult at all. 
that was Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's preaching to the mass of people. He would chant for four hours, and after finishing Kirtan, he will give them sumptuous food to eat. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was doing So you can do this. You collect money not for your eating, but for distribution of prasadam. That is it. And if you do that, Krishna will send you. Yoga kemam baham yaham. There will be no need. We have got about 102 centers, and in each center there are so many people, up to 250. And not less than fifty. So Krishna is sending their food. There is no scarcity. We do not do any business. We do not go to serve any office. But Krishna is sending. And then two centers, average hundred men, how many? Hundred into hundred? So ten thousand men we are feeding daily. Apart from distribution of prasadam to others. So Krishna is sending them. So you can attain. Everything belongs to Krishna. He will give you supply. You have to attempt only. So chant Hare Krishna and distribute prasadam. Your movement will be successful. Now we went out for this for duty, for example, and then we make them to shine Hare Krishna that time. And then if we leave them, they forget, they become people. Yes. Go constantly. Kirtaniya Sadahari. Tinadapi Sunicha Karurupi Sarisuna Amani Na Manadina. Kirtaniya Sadahari. The pro- program is that we should chant twenty-four hours Hare Krishna. If not, as far as possible. You go back. You say that by chanting Hare Krishna Muhammad you can go back from back to body. So if you chant Hare Krishna Muhammad then you are not following your impressions, not reading your books. Can you go back again? Begin chanting, then everything will all right. <coughs> Begin chanting, then all other things will be adjusted. Jena teno prakarena mana krishna nivesha sarvi vidhi nisedha su ritayo reva kankara. There are vidhi nisedha regulative principle. If you see that you are unable to follow, then chant Hare Krishna sincerely, then he will be able to follow the rules. Automatically. In Sira Prabhupada, with in fact we are born, and sometimes I would like every time to think about Krishna. And if I, that will save you. If you simply think of Krishna, and talk of Krishna, uh, that I think we discussed this verse in this morning. Uh, if your mind is always absorbed about Krishna, then you are going to be perfect. Somehow or other, you think of Krishna. Manvana bhava mad bhakta, madhyaji This is the chance you are giving. Everyone can think of Krishna. Here is Krishna's form. Everyone can chant Hare Krishna. Everyone can offer obeisances. Everyone can offer some fruits and flowers. This is the opportunity. Manmana bhava mad bhakta madhyadi maagna 
this four principles, then gradually develop. How may we best approach the rulers and the leaders and the politicians who are interested in this? You simply go and chant Hare Krishna. That's all. He flattered them. <laughs> that other day you told this, our preaching process is this. Dante Nidhayatina Kam Padayu Nipatya. According to Vedic civilization, if one approaches before you with a straw in his mouth, that means he is fully surrendered. <coughs> that is the sign. Therefore, Prabhupada Saraswati, <coughs> he is speaking that with a straw in my mouth, dante nidhayatina, dante, teeth. Padavya Unipattva, I am just falling down at your lotus feet and I have come before you with this straw, very humbly. Danti nidhayati nakam padavya Unipattva, kāku satam kṛtyāca. And I am flattering you hundred times. <clears throat> then naturally any rogue, any elsewhere, Will you please? All right, you can speak something. <laughs> if you become so humble and me, there is no man in the world who will <coughs> say, no, no, I am not going to hear. Of course, there are many rascals. They will say, <coughs> that I have no time. <laughs> So, anyway, generally people will hear. So, <coughs> when he says, all right, what do you want to say? Dante nidhāya tinakam padhoyu nipattva kāku satam kṛtyāca ahangavad. He is sādhava. He is again flattering. Oh, the great sādhu you are. Although you know he is a great rascal. <laughs> Still, I love to speak to him. This is the process of preaching. Is that all right? You tell him, oh, you are a great sadhu. <laughs> then he will hear, yes, yes. <laughs> you are right. You are right. <clears throat> what do you want from me? Tell me. <laughs> then you can say, he is sadhu. Sakalam eva vihaya dura. Whatever I skilled him, you have learned. Please forget. <laughs> Please forget. Then what I have to do? Chaitanya Chanda Charane Kurutanurada. You become adhered to the lotus feet of Lord Chaitanya. There is no. Yes. So I have brought this Chaitanya Charitamrita, 17 volumes. If you kindly take this, so they will take. They have got money. <laughs> and if he reads one line, he will be perfect. This should be your process of peace. According to your karma. That I have repeatedly said. Did you not hear? He's asking about the animals. Animals. Hmm. What kind of body will they take in their next? They have got evolution by nature's way. They have got evolution by nature's way. Jalajana Vulakhani, Savara, Lakhavinsati, Kriyamaya, Rudra Sankata. First of all, aquatic, because the whole world was full with water. So there was animals, aquatic. So as the land became visible, then Jalajana Vulakhani, Savara, Lakhavinsati. Savara means the living entities which cannot move, that means trees and plants, vegetables. So from aquatics to vegetable life, then uh, worm, reptiles, then birds, then beasts, then human beings, then civilized man, there is chance of becoming perfect. So nature brings you 
up to the point of human form of life. Now we make your choice. Athatam Brahma Jitra. And if you misuse, like cats and dogs, and again go. Again go to the aquatic, or cats and dogs, according to your karma. That they do not know. Therefore they are called Mūrhās. They are very much advanced in knowledge and science and money-making, but what they are going to take the body in next life, they do not know. Mūrā, Nābhīyāna. This is their advancement. Therefore they refuse to believe that there is an next life. There is one soul. Ah, there is no life. Vasya bhūta sate hasya kuta punar āgamana bhava. Ah, this body will be burnt into ashes and he is coming back again. They don't believe. If they believe the shastra, then it will be Hollywood affair. Therefore, they do not believe. But if you believe and not believe, things are going to happen. That's all. That is law of omniscience. If you don't believe that you are going to die, it doesn't matter. You have to die. If you don't believe that I am not going to be, become an old man, no, you believe or not believe, you must become old man. This is nature's law. So you believe or not believe in the next life, you have to accept it. Krishna says, tatha dehantara prasthi dhira So your believe or not believe doesn't matter. Nature's worth will go. Karma, one does his job every day. And if you spend some time in the evening thinking about Krishna, then you are losing. Oh, yes, why not? Salpamapi asa dharma If you think of Krishna once, uh, that will not go in vain. That is recorded. Salpamapiyasya dharmasya trayate mahato bhaya. Just like Ajamit, at the last stage of his life, he chanted Narayana. He became divided. So something is about Krishna. is very good. And you will get chance to increase. If you believe by chanting Hare Krishna, you will be liberated, then why 15 minutes, why not 15 hours? What is the loss there? If you chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, what is the loss? Is there any loss? Yes. Why 15 minutes? Chant. Kirtan your Sada Hari. As long as you can. Now, chant Hare Krishna.